Hello everybody, this is Aqua Demi and we are back in The Sims 2 Mega Hood. Today we're with the Gavigan family, which is Nathan Gavigan, his wife Mary Gavigan, and their children Isaiah, Julia, Nanette, Nicole, Odom, and Odette. Now, High drama in the last part, or the part before, I forget. But Mary cheated on her husband in with him in the house. And he caught her cheating. And now they are um, in a very bad place. Well, she still has 50 over 57 with him. But he's negative 26 over negative 31 with her. Now, he has cheated in the past, but he is, you know, he, he's just forgot that little detail that she wasn't the first to cheat because it's different. You know, you might cheat, but that doesn't mean they're supposed to cheat on you. So, anyway. Um, also, in this part, Isaiah is going to head off to university Isaiah is, this is the realm for all the people who started off as children are now going to university. So we had Tessa Ramirez go, and now Isaiah Gavigan is going to go. And I have one child that is awake. Not that I want her to be awake, but I couldn't send her back to sleep. Until now. And I haven't sent mom to sleep because, quite frankly, dad will get up if I put mom in the bed with him. And I don't have an extra bed. All I have is a couch. So, I'm just letting her do whatever she was doing last time I was here. I'm not sure why her hair is like this. Um... It's default, uh, default replacements. I don't think I would have chosen this hair for her. But we're going with it. And we're going to let her sit here and do this even though she is frozen solid. Do you work? You don't work. You're unemployed. <sighs> And you want your son to go to university. He is going to go to university. She wants to have another baby. She's got plenty of time to have another baby. She's 21 days for the elder, believe it or not. She's got eons of time. Oh, I forgot to... Isn't it funny how you're doing something totally different than... You're just doing something and suddenly you'll, your mind goes elsewhere and you realize you forgot to do something. Yeah, I just had that. I was supposed to do something last night and I forgot to do it. Yep, I'll have to do it later. It'll be fine. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, why don't you come in? No, why don't you come in, use the bathroom, take a shower, um, maybe make some breakfast, um, serve some pancakes up, and then the kids can eat if they're hungry, which they probably won't be. You're probably the only one that's hungry, because they've been next to a, yeah, They've been next to Snapdragons all night. It's weird that lately I've been playing without the Snapdragons. And I've been enjoying it. Because I have to feed my Sims. And I have to take better care of my Sims. But it's just that I haven't gotten around to doing Snapdragons in those neighborhoods. So, I mean, I just I have to take care of them better. Because I can't rely on that the Snapdragon to take care of all their needs during the night. Oh, 
Okay. Guys, y'all have got school later. I really don't think she needs more kids, but she thinks she does. Who is it that she had the affair with? Um, this Toby Couric. Now, if she gets pregnant by Toby, we have to move Toby in somewhere. Not necessarily here, but he would have to get moved in somewhere. Because he can't have a child and not be aging. That's just, that's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like the kid getting older and the parent isn't. No, I can't handle that. So if, the, if she has a baby with him, then she has to... We have to move him in somewhere and start playing him. I didn't really mean for you to do on the floor, but sure. Have on the floor pancakes. Floor pancakes! All right, one at a time. Keep going. Don't do two steps and stop. Keep going. We have a whole train of kids to come down that way. Okay, put away all the leftovers. Clean up the plate. And then we'll get you to bed. Really? You're going right back in on piano playing? Do you work today? You did all you kids make it to the school bus? I think so. No, you are off today. You are a Hall of Famer, but you do not work today. You are also 21 days to elder. Despite how many kids he's got, he's got a lot of kids. Because he has six kids with his wife and two kids with Bella Goth. So, yeah. He has a lot of kids. Way too many kids for Fortune Sam. Have we gone ahead and put you on the pregnancy, pregnancy, ideal family size, probably like two, but mom doesn't get that because saying she's a family Sam and their ideal family size is like 10. If they can talk their spouse into it, more power to them. They've been kind of on, on opposite schedules since the whole blow up. But we'll have to see if they can, maybe ACR pulls them back together. It could. We've had other couples pull back together with ACR. Where they've forgiven each other. Of course, he wants to woohoo through different Sims. He's already woohooed. How have you not already woohooed three different Sims? I know you've woohooed Bella. I know you've woohooed your wife. Have you not already woohooed three different Sims? You've got three loves. Twice. But you didn't woohoo her. You mad out with Sophia, but you didn't woohoo her. You did woohoo Bella. And you did woohoo your wife. So she, Bella is the only one you've woohooed. I am coloring me shocked. You got so many damn kids. I don't know. I thought you had woohooed more of them than you had. 
we've got an aspiration point. Um, sure. Be a no. Take you take that. She's got one too. Take that. And he's got one. Oh, I forgot he was a romance sim. Oh, wow. And then these guys all are building them for their future. And you just want a woohoo. Really bad. We could go out somewhere and you could woohoo. Maybe. But I, I really wouldn't want you to bring them home. Do you have a hot tub? You do have a hot tub. He wants to woohoo in a hot tub and woohoo in a bed. We could go out. I don't really want him to woo his share and that woman gets pregnant when they breathe near her. Um, and I'm not sure Sophia would, well, she is in love with him. We could get a woohoo out of Sophia. With my luck, they'd get pregnant. Should we go out? Or should I see if ACR will put him and his wife back together again? She's still sleeping now. She wants to be friends with Rip and be friends with Florence and reach logic level eight. We could call for transportation. I think Sophia would be at work though. We could try. But I just assume she's at work. And when you, if you wait long enough for your kids to get here, then you really shouldn't be going off with someone else. Isaiah has brought a friend home from school. Don't ask me who. Justin Kim. Justin looks different. I'm going to have you do your homework even though you don't really need to. I'm going to have you do it anyway. Why are you kicking down all my flamingos? Why, Justin? Why? Are you awake yet? Mary, you need to get out of bed. It's two in the afternoon. And then come in here and get dressed. You want to play a computer game, have a good reputation.
I want to see if they can be put back together. Both want to have good reputation. I'm torn because I don't want them fighting in front of their kids, and yet I really do want them to make up. Grades are going up. Why is Roxy here? Go great Roxy. Oh. Do all the kids know how to do study? Yes, the kids are almost teenagers. Oh no, these aren't. The youngest two are not almost teenagers. They do not know how to study. So the younger two need to learn how to study, but everybody else... Do you know how? Oh no, the younger four don't know how to study. Oh dear. Oh dear. The younger four don't know how to study. No, no, no. Just do your homework. Uh, we are going to move your homework downstairs where it's not so cramped. And we're going to get you to ask... Okay, that's this one. Odom, ask your mother for homework help. Mary, stop. Oh. No, don't go upstairs with your homework. Stay downstairs. I don't want them to drop their... Oh, great. Please don't. Just, just don't. I think she fell out of love with her husband. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Do I move... Do I divorce them and move one out? Uh, okay, I've got Odette... Odette, ask for homework help from your dad. Odette, ask for homework help from your dad. No, Mary, stop it. Okay, yes, be asked for homework help. Um, you stop. Please don't have this child play games with the visitors. You ask for homework help from your brother, Isaiah. Oh, come on. What do I have to do, Mary? Get your butt in the house. All right, hold on. Where is this child? You came all the way upstairs. Oh. 
get your stuff down here so I can at least have it <sighs> is she helping no she's not helping why are you continuing to do your homework if your mother's not helping you stop doing your homework stop Stop doing your homework. Don't lay it. Oh, God. Y'all are going to drive me insane. Ask your mother to help you with your homework. Where's the child that I said to ask for dad? Is this your homework? Ask your dad to help you with your homework. Okay, where's this kid that I said to ask your brother? Ask Isaiah to help you with your homework. Ask Isaiah. Isaiah? Fuck, stop, Isaiah. Help your sister. No. Ask your dad to help you with your homework. Why does this child keep doing this to me? Stop it. Go. Ask your brother to help you with your homework. Isaiah, I swear to God. Stop it. Stop it, Isaiah. Help your sister with her homework. There are four of these freaking little kids. And that still leaves one upstairs that doesn't know how to do her homework. Imogene Stacks is here. Heidi Rutherford is here. Justin Kim is here. Alright. You learned how to do your homework, yes? Yes. Go kick stuff. Mary, kids are hungry. Why don't you serve dinner? Make some hamburgers. Uh -huh. <sighs> Julia ages up in one day. Now, where's the other child? You. Who are up here painting when you're not supposed to be. Go use the bathroom and get your butt downstairs. gonna go kick stuff to get your fun up your mother's working on dinner where is this child I don't see you coming down the stairs yet ask your dad to help you with your homework oh man that stove is nasty
Are you hungry? No, you're not hungry. You need to clean though. It's time for you to clean the house, Mary. Her aspiration sucks. Study anger management when you get through cleaning the house. Okay. You did that. I appreciate it. Kids are eating dinner. Oh, so we haven't cleaned in a while. Okay. You're hungry. You come over here and eat. You're hungry. You grab a plate. Where's the other child out playing with the dog? Are you hungry? Yes, you're hungry. You get in here and eat too. Oh, you're coming. Okay, good, good. And that leaves you, who is also hungry, but there's no food left for you. <clears throat> what are you doing? Why are you... Oh. Oh, because your friend's coming in or something? Go use the bathroom. It is time for you to go to university. Call college. Call college. Apply for scholarships. Uh, you don't have any more scholarships. I assume you've already applied once. Because you have at least two scholarships. And let's move you to college. Oh yes, I'm sure Isaiah should move to college. Okay. Uh, did she finish eating? Why did she not? Mom, don't take that plate. Mom, don't take that plate. Eat. Oh, so you're going to clean the plate. I wanted the child to eat the food. Oh. Uh, these big hectic families, man. Did you have to do that right in front of the house? Oh, dear. Oh. You want to get your creativity up. And you're still furious at your wife, who you're not in love with. Where, where did he just go? Uh, um, why don't you come in, use the bathroom, and take a shower? And you can come upstairs and work on that painting that you we're working on. Okay. Is there a child sleeping on the couch? 
I cannot see really, but I know there is. It's 10 o'clock at night. Come use the bathroom. And I don't know which bed is yours, but hop in a bed. Where are all the rest of the kids at? Okay, I got one on the piano, one sitting here. You also need to use the bathroom. You come use the bathroom and get into bed, whichever bed is yours. Are you going to bed? No. Use the bathroom first. I don't call color me crazy, but I just you you have to use the bathroom first. And then you can go to bed. Okay, you sleep in here. Okay, good deal. That's all of you. You are painting. You need to use the bathroom and go to bed. But there's no more bathrooms available. Where did Nathan go? He went out to the hot tub. All right. <sighs> you, come use the bathroom. Go to sleep. I know where your bed is. go to sleep and sleep, sleep, need to go to sleep, sleep, working their way towards going to sleep in the hot tub. Do you work tomorrow? You do work tomorrow. Why don't you come go to sleep? Well, you're talking to Roxy, who you have three bolts for. Um, all right, that's fine. Just you do you. Okay, honey, I don't think you're gonna have time to finish this painting. It's midnight already. Go on to bed, Mom. How are you doing with your anger management? How are you doing with dad? John Burb is a vampire? I knew that, didn't I? I think I knew that. Where is your husband at? And this list of people that you know. How did I not even see? Oh, because you still have a fairly high opinion of him. He just doesn't have a high opinion of you. And you've lost friends with some of your kids because they know that you cheated. Four of your kids, to be exact, you've lost friendship with. You're friends with your mom. You are not friends with your mom. You are not friends with your mom. You are furious with your mom. You're okay with your mom. Okay. I think what we're gonna do, oh, we need to unclog and use and take a shower and go to bed. I'm gonna try to put you on the same bed, which isn't gonna work, but he can sleep on the couch tonight for all I care. 
I um, don't really feel like dealing with the two of you and your drama. He is now friends with Roxy. And knowing Roxy, she's going to try to woohoo him soon. Which he'll probably go for. I need to figure out what to do with the two of them. If they're not going to get back together, I might need to split them up. And I don't really want to split them up because that means another household. And I don't want another household. I have way too many households as it is. If they get indifferent, though, they could just, well, I don't know. There may come a time when I divorce them, though. But if I divorce them, they're going to hate each other. I'll be better able to handle my anger now. I'll try not to get furious with other Sims if I can help it. Good deal. So why don't you head to bed, and we will end this part right here. So thank you so very much for watching my video. Thank you to my channel members for your support. I will see you all back here again real soon. Goodbye for now.